Hey folks, Father Sampathik from CG Virus here. Uh, today we're going to create a liquid leak or spill mask system, uh, a procedural mask system for Blender. Uh, the link will be in the description. You can download it from there. And uh, we are going to see the demo first and then we're going to see the making of as well. So let's get it started. All right, so after downloading the zip, you will get uh, this file in F4 Append. And there is the leak spill mask. So click there and there will be a material and there is a leak spill mask okay let's append it here so now uh, this is a very simple uh, barrel uh, just a demo for the for the demo so um, let's press shift a and search and go for a leak spill mask so here it is the leak spill mask okay let's create a new uh, group here so this is actually a mask system uh, if you press ctrl shift to see it it's a mask system so what you can do is basically you can create many things like that like uh, you know let's create a mix RGB and uh, just uh, give it the here and uh, just give the factor here so now you can just change the color as you wish suppose if you want to create uh, a painted color or something like that you can do it like that uh, for this one we are going for something like uh, you know oil spill or something like that so let's go for black and um, uh, oil is um, the roughness um, oil is actually much more rough so what you can do is basically you can create a mask for it as well in the roughness so here it is the black value you know black value and white value so we're going it like that okay so <coughs> that's how you can use it um let's introduce some stuff here so this is the repeater uh, which is uh, you know it will repeat the streaks here so we're using by default 30 you can uh, also uh, decrease it as you wish so this is the liquid scale so liquid scale is basically uh, how much big or how much small it will be so something like that you can do it like that by default we are using 300 to create much more streaks here okay and uh, then we have uh, destiny threshold uh, density threshold sorry uh, press shift to create a density mask here okay something like that you can see it here as well all right so we're using 0.5 i think for the default one okay uh this is the height mean height mean is minimum height how much height it will have so uh this is it you can do uh your stuff here as well okay and uh, this is the height max that is the maximum height it's actually uh, you know a bit of uh, you know thresholding system so use it with your own test okay so yeah you can also create some weight mask system here as well so if you want to create something like that you can use it like that as well okay so yeah and just balance it uh, as your object goes on or off so like that okay so it's a masking system you can use for water painting as well okay so let's go for minus one and uh, let's go for one or i'm not sure let's see yeah so like that 3.4 or something okay and uh, this is the pattern break pattern break is you know just breaking the pattern uh, for artistic purpose okay oops sorry uh yeah, similar to that. And uh, now let's talk about the mask here. Uh, let's go for 40. Yeah, uh, the mask. Um, quite often we need a mask system, so let's create a mask here. So I'm going for an image texture here, and I'm going to name it uh, something like uh, big mask or something. And uh, let's plug it in here, the mask. So this is the mask influence. Okay. So how much influence it will have? So let's take it to one and now press in uh, control T you know control tab to go to the texture paint mode and this is the leak mask we have so if we go to black that means uh, actually if we go to the white that means it will reveal some mask for you okay you can reveal the mask here okay let's do it like that and uh, if you go to the gray value it, it, you can you know uh, uh, break the pattern a little bit you can go for black mask to erase the mask here as well so yeah some of like that 
so <coughs> suppose we have something like this 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 and here we go and uh, we can go to the mass density as well to create uh, you know a density value here you know, how much dense your things will be okay so you know mix and match everything um, with your things so I'm going for uh, some gray value here uh, maybe somewhere here okay so there we go okay similar like that so yeah that's how you can work with it and other things are pretty much fine so the link will be in the description and uh, those who want to uh, see the making of so now let's get started with the making of also to mention that uh, everything will work not only the, this barrel uh, any kind of object will work with this mass system so now let's get started with the making of all right so first thing first is basically we're going to create a Voronoi texture here and for this Voronoi we're going for uh, 3d f1 uh, let's see it in distance yeah 3d uh, we're going for a uh, smooth f1 and we're going for Minkowski let's go to the scale of 300 and uh, let's go for smoothness 1 exponent 1.5 random 1 okay so now we're going to create a mapping node here so ctrl G to create a mapping node we're using generated here and here uh, what we're going to do is basically um, you can see that uh, Z value uh, should be 0 here and uh, these two values will be something like this okay so what we can do is basically we can create a combine XYZ here and uh, we're uh, leaving Z as 0 and uh, we're going to create a value node here okay and let's see uh, let's connect X and Y here and combine it with skill okay so now uh, we are having this okay um, yeah, let's create a multiply node. I mean that math node. Yeah, and uh, let's go for a multiply here, and uh, let's give it a uh, point zero one to create a greater value here. Okay, similar like that. Okay, so by default we are going to give it thirty. So now we are having these streaks. That's good. So now um, let's create another. Yeah, now we need a mass system. So let's create another. Mm, let's see. Let's create a ramp, color ramp. So in this color ramp, we're going to use um, the z axis with this generated. So what we can do is basically we are going for a separate XYZ and we're going to give it the generate. And uh, you can see that this is X, this is Y, and this is Z. So it will create a mask system for us. So let's go to the color ramp, and uh, here it is, the color ramp. So now we can easily mapping the value here. So for this, we are going to use the new a new node that is called mapping wrench, map wrench. Yep, this one. I'm going to uncheck clamp here, and uh, here we can now pretty easily create this mask system. Okay, for us. Okay. For now, uh, we're going to use minus um, something like uh, minus 0.8 or something, and uh, for the max, we're going for 3.4 or something like 4. Okay, for now, yeah, something like that. Okay, so now what we can do is basically we can create um, mm, yeah, we can create um, RGB, mix RGB, yeah, and uh, we can give it this and. Uh, um yeah and uh let's give this as distance and we're going for a subtract value here here we go so now we're having these uh thing okay going on so now we can mask it mask off and stuff like that okay something like that okay so now uh what we can do is basically we need to break this pattern a little bit so what we can do is basically we can create a noise texture here let's get a noise texture and uh, we want to break these patterns a little bit so let's go for a factor and uh, let's uh, go to the subtract factor and now it will break the pattern for us a little bit so let's go for 40 uh, as a noise texture so that's it all right 
um, what else okay so now we're going for an RGB curve here let's go for a curve uh, we want to sharpen it a, a little bit okay so what we can do is basically we can create a very nice fall off like this okay so now we are having a sharp value here okay yeah sounds like that okay done and what else okay now let's see the results here so press ctrl shift and uh, let's go to uh, mix RGB here and uh, let's uh, go to the color and uh, let's factor it up here yeah and uh, let's give it black there we go okay hmm that's good okay uh, let's create the roughness as well shift D create the roughness and let's plug it into the color and let's switch here we go okay done so yeah that's how we can work with it now um let's create a very simple mask system here so how can we do it is basically we will need mm -hmm. let me see okay to test the mask system quite obviously we will need a mask so let's create a image texture here and uh, let's see uh, let's get a new mask here uh, I'm going to name it spill mask spill mask or something like that so let's create it here and let's draw some stuff here so press ctrl shift to create press ctrl tab to create a texture paint uh, let's go for some white mask here a little bit fun okay press ctrl tab to go to the object form so um you can save it or not or not a, not, not a problem so let's uh, create um new subtract node so shift D to get a subtract that means the RGB uh, RGB subtract and what we can do here is basically we're going to use the, our height mask here as our first input here yeah. and <coughs> the our mask system as our second input okay so press ctrl shift to see it in action okay <coughs> So now instead of this mask setup, that height map, we're going to use this. Okay. So uh, that means with the factor, we can enable or disable our mask here. You can see that the mask should be uh, inverted. Okay. So what we can do is basically we can create an invert node here, which means the white will be white and black will be black here. Okay. So yeah. All right. So um what else let's use it like this yeah okay and now we will need a fall off section that is um, hmm. we can create a rgb rgb mix rgb sorry and uh, we can create a factor of one and this one is the value so we can go for um non clamp value here so we can go for a uh, value so we can give it beyond uh, a one actually okay to create this kind of values so yeah uh this will be subtract yeah subtract okay so that's how we can create a new kind of fall off here okay there we go so uh, that's how we can work with it and uh, if we say it here okay now you can see your things in action okay so that's about it and uh, that's how we have made the note all right so now let's pack it up all right so to create this group note we uh, we need this rgb curve and let's select all of them except this paint mask and let's select this and press ctrl G to group it there we go okay all right so first thing first is present uh, this will be our hmm 
this will be our mask and what else let me see all of them <clears throat> first one is repeat so we need a repeater so let's go here and let's turn up this value and let's go for this let me repeat and uh, next we need liquid scale uh, so this is the liquid scale and uh, then we need density threshold which is exponent and then we have height min um height min there is this this one height there we go and this is the height max which is height max uh yeah this one and uh next we have hmm pattern break skill pattern break skill that is this guy yeah this one hmm. so pattern what yeah pattern pattern break skill and then we have mask influence mask influence that is coming from this guy hmm. this guy mask influence and uh, this one is the value that means uh, we need a factor or something a demo for here there we go and then we need color to patch it up so that is called mask density okay let me check everything here mm, with the default values so uh, this mask will be go down under uh, this yeah and the mask value um, by default should be black there we go the repeater uh, repeat is 30 default value 30 liquid scale default value is 300 that's fine density threshold that is 0.5 max 32 yep height mean height mean is minus 1 and height max is 4 pattern break 40 mask black mask influence <coughs> default should be zero mask density uh, default value should be zero minimum should be minus 10 oops not yeah minus 10 and 10 max 10 that's it so that's how we have created the snow group and yeah i'm father sympathetic from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye